I have the best advice for women in business. Get your fucking ass up and work. It seems like nobody wants to work these days. You That's have to, so true. You have to surround yeah. yourself with people that want to work. Have a good work environment where everyone loves what they do because you have one life. No toxic work environments and show up and do the work. If you're All right. Um, I don't know why people want me to talk about this. <laughs> Because, well, I'm not a woman, obviously. But then again, people are like, well, you're a man. Uh, I mean, you talk sisters and you are pretty, you got pretty um, interesting thoughts on that show. So why not talk about this situation? So uh, I'm just letting it, you know, be known that I'm not a woman. So just know that my perspective is coming from a male perspective. But Kim Kardashian and her family uh, were doing a video for Variety, uh, you know, interview and this went viral, uh, what was it, yesterday. Um, I have the best advice for women in business. Get your effing behind up and work. It seems like nobody wants to work these days. Um, is her message right? This kind of reminds me of the... Monique backlash she got about the whole Queens carry yourselves with decency and you know take pride in your appearance when you're in public you know I see a bunch of you know women in like the airports and stores and bonnets and PJs and whatnot and um there's a lot of times where the message that's delivered is yeah hey, right on you said it right, but the person delivering the message is like not who should be. Basically, you know, you don't want the jam. Okay, you can have a platter with the most delicious meal that you've ever seen in a restaurant. That's like the message in this situation. But let's talk about the person who delivers it to your table. You don't want the custo uh, a janitor or a custodian who just got finished you know cleaning the toilets and mopping the floors they didn't wash their hands and they're the ones handling the, the food right you don't you want a server a waiter you know somebody who's at that establishment who's assigned to do that job do it for you you know so you want the waiter to deliver the food you know and you're good it's like hot thing hey thank you uh, Mr. Waiter, Mrs. Waiter for delivering this wonderful, wonderful platter to our table. I use that analogy because it's like, it, it really just irks me. I believe that's the word irks, annoys me, where you have people of privilege and wealth in high society who are basically saying the equivalent of pull yourselves up by your bootstraps. And I get that her message was for women in business, but I feel like this could be applied to anyone in general. You know, like I have the best advice for anybody who wants to get into any sort of business, get off of your behind and work. It seems like nobody wants to work these days. I mean, in the days of the PPP loans and free government assistance and yada, 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 a lot of people don't want to work nowadays, even with the, um, you know, pay increase at different jobs due to, you know, employee shortages and then inflation and all this other stuff. But it's the fact that you can have a room full of women who work harder than Kim Kurt. And I'm not saying the Kardashians don't work for what they do. What was it? Um, I Look, I've never watched an episode of their show. I don't follow any of them on social media. I've barely know anything about them aside from the trending topics every now and then and this isn't a slight to them i can't talk bad about them because i don't know a damn thing about them all i know is this they obviously have a lot of resources connections uh capital you know to work with that a lot of people don't like say kim kardashian in her 20s was in a room with like 10 other women and those 10 other women were hard workers. They were working to be in the same kind of business Kim is in regards to, you know, like, uh, let's say they were all trying to start hair salons or makeup line or whatever. And these 10 women, they, you know, they grind as hard, if not harder than Kim did. But guess what? 
Kim has influential family members, you know, parents and whatnot who are well known. So she has money or again, capital or, you know, a foundation to come off of as opposed to the everyday average Sarah or, you know, Melissa or, you know, um, Sharonda, just basically the average everyday person doesn't have all the advantages of those at the top, because guess what? Let's say if Kim Kardashian took someone, you know, from, let's say a makeup, a woman selling their own custom line of makeup in a random mall. If Kim Kardashian, and this woman has been grinding, working hard for like 10 years, you know, she had one of those little, um, I forgot what you call them. I haven't been inside of a mall in over a year, but it's basically like, you know, you know, when you're walking through the mall and there's like those little shops in the, in the, in the hallways and whatnot, in the walkways, I forgot what they're called, but let's say this woman worked hard to get, you know, from one of those little stands in the middle of the mall to having her own store in the mall. She doesn't have like a nationwide outlet of her makeup line, but she was able to work hard, make a lot of money, get a lot of business to the point that she has one area, one store in that mall. If Kim Kardashian went to this woman's store who's been working for like 15 years to get where she is now and Kim Kardashian posted, hey, this makeup line is wonderful. You should check out so-and-so's makeup. This woman would blow up. She would become like a millionaire overnight. You know why? Because guess what? There are probably 10 other vendors in that mall working at their own various businesses just as hard as this woman did and they have their own stores. But because the connection of a Kim Kardashian helped skyrocket her to new heights. So you see what I'm saying there? Hard, it, it's not just hard work. I'm not saying hard work isn't important, but it's difficult to consume the message that's coming from someone who came from privilege, who came from, who came from money, who came from, you know, wealth. So it really isn't a bad message that she's giving, but I feel like more often than not, when the people at the top try to send a message to the common folk, there's a lack of empathy, understanding, and connection and relatability. It's different to say, you know, if she would have made it like, yeah, I know I had a lot of advantages growing up, you know, from my family being who they are and then the connections they had. So I recognize it's not so easy to just for me to say, I mean, it's easy for me to say, yeah, you know, I put in a lot of hard work and boom, look at me now. But I had, you know, A, B, C, D in like a whole alphabet, you know, length of reasons why I was able to succeed. But, you know, here's my advice for those who wanted to get any, you know, any sort of business. You got to have the right connections, know the right people, this and that. And again, I'm not saying that these women don't work hard. Uh, well, uh, again, I for, uh, is it Kendall Jenner? I get the Kardashians and Jenners um, mixed up. I don't even know if they're related. I don't I don't know a damn thing. But I believe it was Kendall, if uh, Kendall Jenner, who was like proclaimed to be, you know, uh, the youngest or this year's youngest self-made what what is she a billionaire a millionaire i don't know but it was like not to knock her success or her work ethic but she's not really self-made because she has capital she has parents or family who could put up a lot of money and you know relatives who expose her by like oh my sister my cousin has this new merchandise line you should buy it and that's like publicity the average everyday person cannot afford. So I honestly feel like despite the message being, you know, accurate, and I feel like it's not just women, but for any person in general um, who wants to make it in any sort of business or be good at something, you got to get up and work hard at it. Um, but it, it's just not as easy as you make it sound, hard work. And for example, again, I'm not trying to say... Um, well, honestly, wait, hang on. I want to make sure I say this correctly. I know for a fact that I got extremely lucky. Remember, I didn't even know you can, people got paid for doing YouTube. Remember, uh, when I first started out, I was barely getting any views. Uh, JCC Theories to See, but the moment I changed it to Tyler Perry's The Haves and Have Nots Review, that's when my channel blew up and that evolved into me doing what I do now for a living. There are a bunch of people who do reviews like I do, and they aren't, my, you know, they aren't 
um, YouTube partners or, you know, at like 5,000, let alone 200,000 subscribers. And that's not me gloating, but that's just me saying that it takes hard work and consistency and sometimes a little bit of luck. You know, that algorithm, I guess, was on my side when I, um, you know, updated my channel name. And as a result, my channel blew up. So when I say hard work, well, hell yeah, you know, I work hard. I do all the editing and everything myself. I never had a... But like I said before, I know if a if Tyler Perry or Tyler Perry Studios promoted my channel like, hey, this guy's been reviewing our stuff for years. Go subscribe to Our Kind of Entertainment if you want some in-depth videos about Sisters, The Oval, and other Tyler Perry upcoming projects. I know my channel will blow up even bigger than it is now. I'd probably be at like maybe 500,000 subscribers by the end of the month if Tyler Perry put out one of my videos, if Tyler Perry Studio promoted my stuff. But that's just to say that, yeah, hard work is important, it's essential, but if the right people aren't seeing your merchandise, seeing your video, seeing your product, you're going to be stuck working hard and barely making ends meet. So the Kim Kardashian message, I get it, but I think either she should have phrased it a bit differently or it would have meant more coming from someone else. But that's just my opinion. Let me know your thoughts about it. Um, like I said, I don't really know much of anything about the Jenners or the Kardashians. Or I, I guess they're related. I honestly don't know. But thanks so much for tuning in. If there's any other like you know pop culture or trending topics you want me to give my two cents on, let me know in the comment section below. But as always, thanks so much for tuning in. Give this video a thumbs up to show you like it. Follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. Hit subscribe and hit the bell icon and select all. That way you don't miss out whenever I post content on the channel.